pow today we have the xbox 360 playing charge kit yeah um not capitalize capitalizing on a popular video at all but um yeah just managed to pick one of these up in a bundle recently and it brought back a few memories um i'll tell you i remember this was it november 2005 the xbox 360 launch um me and me and one of my best friends obviously we had ours pre-orders pre-ordered and unfortunately one of our friends didn't and so on the day of release we were like yeah we'll get in the car we'll find you one we visited many 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 towns but unfortunately we didn't manage to get in one but anyway you're not here for that story you're here for this so yeah um i guarantee you in 2021 this battery doesn't bloody work these playing charge kits charge kits weren't they weren't too bad when they come out they had a uh, you know, straight on top of the 360 pad um let's see what we've got some serial numbers Microsoft Corporation in Redmond, which is on pretty much everything. Loads and loads of different languages. Play and charge, continuous gameplay for 25 hours of use. I've got to remember, yes, these batteries were absolutely fantastic. I saved an absolute fortune on normal AA batteries buying this. Um, bit of barcode, part number, and the rights reserved by Microsoft. Yeah, I miss obviously had like a security tab um, punched for it at some point, but I thought these were brilliant. I mean, you could get these. It was just a white originally, but they did release them in black later on down the line. And uh, yeah, it was just, I mean, they generally lasted a few years and the batteries would no longer charge or as soon as you plug it in, the light wouldn't register. But even with the battery, as long as you had that in, you could still play your, your uh, games machine, your games machine, Xbox 360. <laughs> um, yeah, really long cable, that's one of the best things about this. Absolutely mad cable. So I do remember the day of the 360 launch and after charging the pads up and taking the cable out and then every time for months and months when someone was going to walk in front of me, even though the pad was wireless, you'd like put it down so that people didn't stand on the cable and you'd be like, hey, hang on, there's no cable there. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so loads and loads of fake ones. I think uh, Venom did one as well later on. Um, there was loads and loads of people that did third party ones, but the, the, I always found the official ones to be best and definitely lasted the longer, longest when the batteries uh, were all good and the cells were ready to be charged. But yes, so <laughs> just a little video showing off a sealed Xbox 360 play and charge kit created by Xbox from Microsoft. Pow. <laughs>